14th of November 2022. Welcome back to my cosy corner of the internet. Here, I select a tarot deck each week from my extensive collection to elucidate the ethers and scry the shifting celestial tides on behalf of the collective. These readings are not aimed at any particular person and you are meant to find them at the time their guidance is most relevant to you. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. My musings are intended to inspire, uplift and guide you on your healing journey. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing and share this page with your friends. Listen to the end for my recommendations for your next step and receive special offers from MyStar by joining the MyStar mailing list at MyStar.net. And because your engagement really helps me out, if you like, share, subscribe or comment today, I hope and intend that you will be blessed with bountiful beneficence this week. May brilliance, beauty and abundance abound. I've chosen the Moonchild Tarot for our medium today. This deck is both delicate and deep. The soft palette and ethereal scenes are magical. I'm always drawn to these cards when I'm working closely with the Palladians and Lemurians. And if you subscribe to the Myastar newsletter, you'll notice the latest special offers have also reflected those star-seeded energies. I'm sure these cards will be a powerful translator of the numinous for us today. So sit back, relax your shoulders, take a sip of chamomile tea, exhale deeply, and let's explore the dominant energetic influence we can tap into over the coming week for the purpose of progressing the spiritual journey and pursuing the path to wholeness is reflected in the magician. The magician reminds you that you are in the driving seat of your life. What you say and how you act are the spells you cast to create the life you desire. Are your words and deeds aligned with your highest ideals? This week, you need to make sure that they are because opportunities for manifesting miracles are in the offing. Capitalize on this potent and progressive energy current by standing, speaking and acting from a place of power. Other people and events may have some effect on you, but they can't have more of an effect on you than you have on yourself. The second card identifies the potential opposition we may face in pursuit of the promises of the first card. And this week, this comes in the form of the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords can reflect a point of despair, but it can also reflect a point of being done in a more positive sense. It's the point of finally drawing a line under everything after a period of stress or upset. It's about saying, that's that, and then moving on without looking back. In this position, this card could indicate it's time to get over yourself and move beyond restrictive thoughts you've invested way too much time and energy in. If that sounds like you, it's time to stop feeding your fears and limitations so you can put your energy to better use. And now we turn to the daily cards for the week ahead. These cards depict and define the archetypal energetic influences we can harness to optimize our personal power and increase our inspiration in the coming days. Monday, Two of Wands. Channeling your intentions into the things that inspire your passion will progress your path to success. Pave the way to a fantastic future by adopting good habits and learning something new today. The universe reminds you that your ideas are worthy of your energy and your energy determines your destiny. Affirm, I align with audacity and dance towards my dreams. Tuesday, Two of Swords. Try not to be too rigid in your thinking today. Evaluating the options dispassionately brings clarity. Trust your intuition to guide you and don't procrastinate for fear of making the wrong choice. Some of your greatest insights have come from mistakes. The universe reminds you that you can trust yourself to learn, change and grow. Affirm, 
I trust myself to exceed myself. Wednesday, Ace of Swords. While spending time in meditation, the clouds clear and new ideas shine through. The universe reminds you that the words magic and imagination have the same root. Garner greater magical manifestations in your life by writing down your impressions to identify new ideas worth investigating. Affirm, I hold my magic, I hold my power. I master this minute, this day, this hour. Thursday, the High Priestess. Secret and sacred knowledge is held within, so seek spiritual support through your higher self during your meditations today. The universe reminds you that your intuition and dreams communicate important messages, but it's in silence you'll hear them most clearly. Keep your own counsel and follow your own path. Affirm, peace is my path, love is my legacy. Friday, King of Swords, your words carry weight and shape your reality. Be considerate of the way you speak to yourself and others. The universe reminds you that you are the co-creator of your life and that your thoughts become things. Today, intend your words to build brilliance beauty and blessings and watch the life of your dreams take shape. Affirm, I align with my highest potential. Saturday, the chariot, explore the edges and extremities of your free spirit today. Take the reins and decide your destiny by picking the path that inspires your spirit to shine. The universe reminds you that your freedom is expressed in every moment of choice. Take each step mindfully and focus on the road ahead. Affirm, when I move, the universe moves with me. Sunday, Night of Cups. Your heart sings with poetry and promise. Be inspired by the mystery and magic of life. The universe reminds you that spiritual love connects you with everything and everybody, everywhere. Your spirit is in a state of continuous closeness and communion with the light. Expand your ecstatic soul by putting your heart into your art today. Affirm, infinite love lights my way. Miracles manifest day by day. This concludes our mystical musings for the week ahead. If you feel drawn to pursue your spiritual path and progress your healing journey with energy work, you can find over a hundred attunement-based energy healing courses on the MyStar website at myastar.net. I provide individual support by email for all students and personally prepare all attunements using the Orb of Life method, which allows my students to receive them wherever they are in the world. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're leaving this video suffused with good vibes and great ideas. On this channel I share my weak head spiritual guidance and mystical musings for the collective, meditation soundscapes and energy healing articles to inspire and uplift you on your spiritual path. Why not take a moment to peruse the rest of this channel to discover more of my NG healing articles and relaxing meditations for some additional spiritual sustenance and magical motivation. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll find a great video recommendation for your next step in the cards at the end of this video. You can also follow me to receive daily spiritual guidance on social media. You'll find links in the description of this video for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, podcast and more. Links to all my latest offerings can be found on the MyStar website at myastar.net. I upload inspiring spiritual content for you three times a week. So please, come back soon. With blessings. <laughs>